Mayfield, can they do it again? Yes, they can! And the catch is made by Taj Washington, touchdown, USC! Blocked by Embiid! Timmy, yes! Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Beef Up Front podcast here on PicSwap Media. This is your host, Ryan Coyle, as always here with the Fantasy Football Weekly Stardom sit Show, Week 15 edition. More likely than not, if you're listening to this right now, you are in the fantasy playoffs, so congratulations for making it this far. Hopefully, I can help you win your fantasy football playoff matchup and move on and eventually hoist that trophy at the end of the year. We're coming off a loss last week with the sits outscoring the Stars by far the biggest defeat of the season. It was a rough one. Uh, we lost 146 to 105. That puts us to seven and five on the season. A couple losses by a couple points. It's been a it's been a bit of a roller coaster. Got off to a hot start, hit a bit, little bit of a lull, and then kind of been exchanging one for one last week. Had Evan Ingram on the sit list last week. He decides to have the best game of his NFL career. Had the Patriots on the sit list because they've been struggling against. Running quarterbacks for the past few years now under Bill Belichick. Kyler Murray gets hurt right at the beginning of the game. Just a few bad breaks. Jeff Wilson was on the start list. He hurt his hip in the first quarter, I believe, against the Chargers. So uh, a, a couple a couple bad bad lucks, bad breaks in that one. We had Jared Goff start, and he was a lower-ranked starter for most fantasy football platforms. He had a, a top-five fantasy week, so had some good, good piece as well. 105 normally has been outscoring our, our sit list for most of the year. We've been pretty good with the sits, but they decided to snap this week, but that's good because we were already in the playoffs. I know all of you were, so now you're just focused on on moving on to this week and winning your first-round game. So we'll go start, sit with the quarterbacks, running backs, receivers, tight ends, and a defense just like we do as always. So we'll, we'll start it off with the start list here, aiming to out, outscore our sit list, and we'll go from there. So the start list, we will start with quarterback. We're going to go with Kirk Cousins playing on Saturday versus the Colts. Colts sit at 4 8 and 1, just real lowly team right now. No real direction, I think, that that franchise is going in. I thought maybe bringing in Jeff Saturday to be the interim head coach changed things around. They won that first game, have fallen apart since then. Matt Ryan, a quarterback there. Uh, I know this doesn't really have to do with Kirk Cousins, but still, this is just a team that seems stuck in the middle of nowhere. They got some good players, some good piece on that team, but. It seems like that's a team that's really just trying to to get to the end of the season. Maybe some guys are playing for jobs, but I think the the Vikings are in real good position to go out and have a bounce back week this week. And I think Kirk Cousins leads that charge. I like him. I believe most platforms have him between like a eight and tenth ranked quarterback this week. I'm definitely looking to put him in my lineup. I think the Colts are just going to be showing up, and I think the the Vikings win this one pretty convincingly by double digits. So. I like Kirk Cousins and the Vikings go out there and snap snap a little bit this week on the offensive side of the football and have a big week. Second quarterback, we're going to go Trevor Lawrence versus the Cowboys. He's currently playing the best football of his career. I know he has a little bit of a toe injury, but it sounded like he had that last week as well. Should be fine. Good to go this week. And the Cowboys coming off a week where the, the even the Texans kind of fooled around on them a little bit, scoring 23 points. And if the, the Texans did find a way to score, they went for it on fourth and goal late in the fourth quarter. If they found a way to score there, they're putting up 30 points last week. Cowboys are in a look-ahead spot to the Eagles next week as well. So who knows if they're going to be fully focused in. Trevor Lawrence, Doug Peterson seem to be clicking. Receivers with Christian Kirk playing pretty well. Evan Ingram had a big week. Zay Jones had a big week last week. Lawrence seems to really have his confidence, and he's really shown what we saw from him at Clemson that made him such an intriguing quarterback prospect. I think he continues that hot play this week. Go to the running backs now. We're going to go with a running a rookie running back here, Isaiah Pacheco, running back for the Chiefs at at the Houston Texans. He's on one of my teams, and I was looking at his stats today. Last five weeks, I believe he's cracked double digits for PPR. Had a pretty big week last week, so did Jerick McKinnon. I think this is a team with the Chiefs gets up pretty big on the Texans, and then they find a way to just kind of bleed out the clock and run the football a lot. Jerick McKinnon had a big week, like I said. But that doesn't limit Pacheco's carries. He's the the main like lead dog in the in the backfield there now with Clyde Edwards Elair out. I like him to continue to get the rock and maybe even even have a pretty explosive run this week. A Tony Pollard scored last week. Ezekiel Elliott scored last week. I think the 
the emphasis this week could be run the football a lot, especially against a really bad Texans rush rushing defense. So give me Isaiah Pacheco this week at the Texans as a start. Next running back, we're going to go rookie running back for the Jets, Zonovan Knight versus the Lions. I know the Lions have been playing better recently, but they do have one weak spot. It's up front on that defensive line. They've, they've struggled up there stopping the run this year. I know they got some nice young pieces, but they can still be ran on. I know they, they kind of stifled Dalvin Cook and Alexander Madison a bit last week. Dalvin Cook did find a way in the end zone. If Knight gets a, a goal line touch, he scores. And then even if he only gets, you know, 40, 50 rushing yards on top of that, still a, a really nice solid fantasy week from the running back position. Um, I think this is going to be a low scoring kind of physical game that sees a lot of run running football in, in the outdoor weather there at MetLife in North Jersey. It's supposed to be pretty cold, chilly this week. And I think we see a heavy emphasis on the run, especially with the health of Mike White. And Knight seems to be like the lead guy in that backfield right now. Go to the receiver position. We're going to go with wide receiver Devontae Smith at the Bears. He's been on fire recently. Jalen Hurts has been taking a lot of shots from downfield, scored last week versus the Giants. He scored the week before that against and had a, over 100 yards, I believe, against the, the uh, Tennessee Titans. He's really been finding a groove, and now he gets to play one of the worst defenses in the NFL in the Chicago Bears. I think you just got to continue starting Devontae Smith if you if you have him on your fantasy football roster. Next, we're going to go Mike Williams versus the Titans. Might be a little bit surprising to see him on this list as if you have him, you might start him, but you might have held him out last week as he re returned from that angle injury. The first time he did, he came back a little too soon, hurt it again, but he slides in the lineup last week, has a uh, receiving touchdown right away. And then the Titans last week gave up a lot of a lot of damage to to Trevor Lawrence, and, and he did a lot of damage throwing the ball to Zay Jones, Evan Ingram did a, a lot. That pat, that Titans passing defense has been really suspect as of late. The Eagles, as I said, with Devontae Smith and AJ Brown torched them the week before. I think Mike Williams has a chance to continue that hot streak against the Titans secondary this week. We go to the tight ends now. We're going to stick with the Titans Charters game. Don't know how to pronounce his name. I believe it's Aquano, Aquano, the, the Titans tight end. I don't know how to pronounce him, but he was one of, in one of my anytime touchdown parlays last week, and he scored. This is a guy I've seen have some really good big-time plays, some explosive plays. So I like him this week against a, a Chargers defense that is up and down, but still, this is a guy where, as we say with the tight end position, always it's a dart throw, I think. He's going to be getting targets. Ryan Tannehill is starting to build some trust in him, and he's got some real good explosiveness. He has the potential to break a tackle and take one to the house, throw him in your lineup. Next tight end, had the best tight end, tight end week out of anyone, I believe, not named Travis Kelsey this year, last week. And that's Evan Ingram versus the Cowboys. Dominated, the, was the number one tight end last week, 39 PPR points. It's actually the fourth tight end on the year on fantasy, on in the ESPN fantasy app, it said, for PPR tight end. So, that's a, a pretty impressive year that he's been having. Now he's playing a, a Cowboys team that I think if they're susceptible and, and one part of this defense, up front's definitely good, rushing the passer. But I think in that middle of the defense, they can find some success. And I think coming off his success last week against the Titans, they're they're really going to try and emphasize him in the passing game again. The talent's always been there for him. He's just been a little a bit inconsistent. Keep feeding him some targets, and I think he could have some more success this week. And then we go to the defense. We're going to go with the Eagles versus the Bears. I just think that up front, the Eagles are going to destroy the Bears on the offensive line. Betting against uh, Justin Fields having success is a, a little hard to do because he's just so dynamic. It also takes is one big run, and that could be a, a game-breaking type play. But I think the Eagles get up big and get up big early in this one. The Bears just don't have the pieces on offense to, to compete against this elite Eagles defense right now. So like they start the Eagles this week in fantasy football at the defense spot. So run through the starts real quick. We go Kirk Cousins and Trevor Lawrence first at the quarterback. Isaiah Pacheco and Zonovan Knight at running back. Devontae Smith, Mike Williams at receiver. Aquanu, the Titans tight end versus Chargers. Evan Ingram versus the Cowboys. And then defense, we're going to go with Eagles versus the Bears. Now we go to the sit list. At the quarterback spot, we'll start with two at the Bills. He's really came down to earth and struggled these past two weeks. Might not be 100% healthy, but with some injuries up front on the offensive line, playing against better defenses. Now this game he's playing in Buffalo, potential snow game there, cold in the low 30s, high 20s. Out of his element, being a Hawaii kid, always playing in the warm, good weather. Now down playing in Miami, I think he gets kind of exposed in this one against the Bills defense that even without Von Miller, still a really high – High-level, productive unit. I think it's going to get to him, and they're really going to pressure him this week and show continue to show his limitations. 
Next quarterback, another former high picket quarterback who's been playing really well recently, been one of the top quarterbacks in the league, I think you can say, over the past six weeks. That's Jared Goff at the Jets. I think this is another spot with Tua, like, he gets out of a comfortable environment in their dome. He has to go outside play in North Jersey with another game that maybe gets some snow flurries in it. I've seen like some maybe wintry mix, some cold, wet football. That's a, not a recipe for, for the California kid and Jared Goff. And I think his arm limitations could show in this one as well. I think it's a lower scoring. I predicted like a 23-20, heavy emphasis on the run game type of football game, and I think Jared Goff's success against um, a really good defense doesn't come this week. Now we go to the running back. We're going to go James Conner at the Broncos. Kyler Murray out now. The You don't really have to respect the passing game that much, I think, with Colt McCoy. DeAndre Hopkins and, and Hollywood Brown still, still are two really good players, two really good receivers, but this is a team I think that's going to have the, the box stacked against them the rest of the year. They're not going to the playoffs. There's another team that might just be – Mailing it in. The Broncos are mailing it in too, but you're playing a Broncos defense where besides last week against the Chiefs, they've been a, a lockdown defense for most of the year. They had that stat, like if they just scored 20 points in every game, they would have been like 10 and two or something going into that Chiefs game last week. So this is a really high level defense. And I think the box is just going to be stacked with Kyler out now. You don't have to worry about everything that he can do. James Conner, I think is going to be hard pressed to have some success against a really good Broncos defense. Second running back, we're going to sit uh, David Montgomery running back for the Bears versus the Eagles after that midseason lull of not being able to stop the run. You get back Jordan Davis, you sign Linval Joseph, you sign Adamica Sue, Brandon Graham, Josh Sweat, all those guys across the defensive line are playing really well together right now, limiting Derrick Henry and Saquon Barkley to like 50 total yards combined or something. The rushing defense has been awesome. I think David Montgomery is the next victim for that for that unit as well, and he has a poor week this week versus the Eagles. Go to the receivers now. We'll go with Deontay Johnson at the Panthers. J.C. Horn has allowed, I believe, the lowest passer rating out of any corner cornerback this year. Mitch Trubisky most likely starting. That just sounds like a recipe for disaster going up against J.C. Horn. Um, not really feeling Deontay, Deontay Johnson in my starting lineup this week. Second wide receiver, we go to another Cardinal with Marquise Hollywood Brown at the Broncos. Like I said, Colt McCoy, serviceable backup quarterback, but I think it's going to be a lot of dink and dunk type stuff, and I think that game is going to be super ugly. I know Russell Wilson hasn't been playing well, but kind of came alive a bit last week and he got some points, and then he got knocked out with a concussion. We could get, I think, Brett Ripien versus Colt McCoy this week. Take the under in that one. Anytime you like an under, I think you, more times than not, you're going to want to stay away from the head matchup unless it's like the running back and you think he's going to just be getting the ball 40 times in that one. But uh, I, I don't like Hollywood this week. I'm sitting him in one of my playoff leagues. So if, if I do have him on the sit list and, and he winds up popping off, it's going to come back to haunt me anyway. So well, let's sit Hollywood this week against a Broncos secondary that's one of the best in the league. Tight end, we go Foster Moreau versus the Patriots. I had him starting, as I, as I said, all year. The tight end spot has been so, so hard. It's dart throw after dart throw. You, you either hit the bullseye or you, you strike out looking. Um, Foster Moreau, I had him in starting in one of my leagues last week just virtue of he's had a few decent weeks. Uh, maybe he gets me five or six points. I can live with that. I believe he got shut out last week. Now he gets to play a Patriots team. Josh McDaniels, I think, is going to get put in a blunder by Bill, Ch Bill Belichick this week. He's not going to let his former protege or whatever you want to call it, disciple, outperform him. I think it's going to be uh, a master class defensive performance by the Patriots this week and really limit the Raiders. So Foster Murrow on the bench. Next, we're going to have another bear here with Cole Komet versus the Eagles. As I said, I think the Eagles are just going to manhandle the Bears' offensive line up front. Justin Hero, Justin Fields is going to have to play Hero Ball, where his name might even be Justin Hero by the end of the day if they find a way to put up double-digit points in that one. I just think it's going to be hard pressed to to find ways to to get some passing game going. Maybe the dink and dunk, and that helps out Cole Komet, but after a really slow start to the year, he had a, a pretty solid like middle stretch, and now he's really teetered off once again. So Cole Komet versus the Eagles, uh, the Eagles shut down the Giants' tight ends last week. Not that hard to do. But uh, versus, versus the tight end spot, they've been pretty solid for most of the year. So Cole Komet versus the Eagles, sitting him there. And then defense, we're going to sit. We'll go Jets defense versus the Lions. I know I've kind of touched on maybe a lower score and ugly game before, but we'll kind of uh, 
thread the needle, I guess you can say with this one with if Jared Goff does have a good game, he's on, he's on the sit list here. The Jets defense won't perform well. Jared Goff does have a good game. Um, the, the Jets defense won't perform well. So, excuse me. If the if Jared Goff goes out there, has a good week, the Jets defense won't perform well. You kind of cancel that one out. If Jared, if the defense does have a good game and Jared Goff performs poorly, then the the defense will will reap the benefits of that. So, I do have Goff on this. I don't think they'll have a great week, but I something weirds tell me that the Lions are going to win that one and maybe win it a little bit convincingly, but it might be on the ground in this one. Um, it, it's, it's a tough, it's a tough, it's a tough call here, but Goff at the Jets is, is the quarterback we're seeing and then the Jets defense versus the Lions there. So quarterbacks, we're going Tua and Jared Goff, running backs, James Conner, David Montgomery, wide receivers, Deontay Johnson, Hollywood Brown, tight end, Foster Moreau and Cole Komet and then defense Jets versus the Lions. So that'll do it for the NFL fantasy football stardom, sit show the week 15 edition. Good luck to everyone. If you've made it to the playoffs thus far. Hopefully this show helps you continue on your playoff path and best of luck going forward. And we look forward to talking back next week.